So it is June 20th, 2024, the meeting of the West Boylston Zoning Board of Appeals. I want to let everyone know, both online and in person, that this meeting is being recorded. Um, so just, just, just to make that clear at the top. Um, let's see, in addition to that, uh, tonight at the top of the meeting, we have, we currently have four board members uh, attending the meeting. First, uh, remotely, we have Mr. John Benson. Um, and then uh, here at Town Hall, we have uh, Chris Mitchell. Everybody yes. knows Raj, Raj, uh, Barur Rajesh Kumar, and myself, Chris Olson. Um, so uh, these are the, the four members uh, that will at least be handling the first topic on the agenda, which is the last month's meeting minutes for May 16th, 2024. Yes, you have a question. Well, excuse me, Mr. Olson. What are board members missing from the meeting? Just for record. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so full member, um, Mr. Uh, Dave Femia is, is not here this evening. Is it? I'm yes. Not. Oh, actually, well, I take that. Yeah. Also, another full member, Nate Orsiani. Okay, so two members are missing. Full, full members. Full board right. members. Yeah. Two full so, board but, members are missing. Correct. And we're going to miss their vote on this. Correct. Okay. okay. Correct. So, no, uh, can I? Okay. Can go I ahead. ask you? Go ahead. So, uh, let me go back to one of the things. So, this is the shrine of uh, matter, right? So originally, who are all the sign out matter uh, members? Who sat, sat on the sign out? That's what I, I'm trying to get. Uh, so it was Orsiani. Everyone Benson. here except for Chris. I, yeah, I did not. And Nate. And Orsiani, Dave. I have it here. Orsiani, Benson, Femia, me, and you. Right. So there are two members are missing. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Fair enough? Mm hmm. So is there a motion regarding the minutes for, yes, for May? Prior to that, right, one last I'd just question. like to know why the other two board members are not in attendance. Uh, yeah, that's uh, not an issue for, okay. for public discourse. Okay. So we, we, we don't know, you know, so some, yes, some I family. I will say this, they reached out to me uh, just before the meeting. And they had what I would consider to be. Oh, hold on. David Femia is here. Oh, there we go. Uh, All right. Dave? Hi, Dave. Dave. I'm in the car driving to New York. So can you stop the car for uh, like a 10 minutes? No. Nope. Just for the first meeting? <laughs> no, I can't do that. That's all right. So then you need to get up. Well, I don't think he's driving. I think he's in the passenger seat. That's no. Right, I'm in the passenger seat. Are you going to participate in this meeting? I'm sorry? Are you going to be involved in this meeting? This is a zero yeah. strain avenue. I'm going, to, I'm going to try to be here for the whole meeting. Okay. So in that case, you are. Okay. All right. So we have a fifth board four, member. Four member. Four, four original members. And for members. the zero strain yeah. yeah. Let's get to that. Let's move on because I want to make some progress here. Uh, is there a motion? around vis-a-vis -vis the minutes for May 16th, 2024. So moved. There is a motion. Motion to accept. Okay, is there a second? You can do the second. Second. I'll, okay. Whoever wants second. Okay, we've got a motion. Let me take notes here. Raj made the motion for the minutes. And Chris seconded. Any comments on the minutes before voting? No. Okay, hearing none, we will do a voice call vote. Dave, your vote for approving the minutes? Yes. Okay. John, your vote for approving the minutes? Yes. Okay, Chris, your vote? Yes. Okay, Raj? Mine is yes. And mine is yes as well. It's five to zero. The minutes are approved. Okay. Next item on the agenda is the continued public hearing for zero Shrine Ave, lot 1R. Petition for variance pursuant to zoning bylaws section 6.2 F. Uh, is there someone representing? Please feel free to come forward and, uh, and take your seat there. Yo, it's like Evangelist the 145 Prescott Street. I'm one of the applicants. Excellent. Okay. 
And uh, as I noted, this is a continued public hearing. It's not a new public hearing, but it's yeah. a continuation of the previous one. And uh, we're here to request on. that the, we we have a, um, without prejudice discontinue the the application. Is that so, proper language? So you asking to withdraw? The, withdraw the, the without petition. prejudice. Petition. Yeah. Okay. Petition for the variance. But that effect. Yeah. Okay. Petition for the variance. Are there questions? Or comments from Fred. board from board members. Dave, sounds like you have something. Yeah, I just want to know what what the reasoning for, for uh, dropping is. Because well, we we got a we got a, a f full vote to for us to the zone free, so we're allowed to build in the thirty foot it, our driveway in the thirty foot area mm -hmm. under the special permit. So there's no need for the variance at this point in time. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Any other comments from board members? Okay, we do still have an open public hearing. Okay. So if there are any questions on, let's say, the, the substance of the petition, we should talk about them now. If folks are comfortable giving the action that the board took at the last meeting, if folks are comfortable um, favorably considering the withdrawal, then what I would do is um, suggest that we first close the public hearing and then we can vote on. Do we get, need to get the comments from the? Uh, yeah, we, we can do that. I, I just want to set forth sort of the, the path forward here. So we do still have an open public hearing. Before we can vote on withdrawing, I would like to you know close the public hearing. Um, does that okay. make sense? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, we, we do still have an open public hearing. Are there any public comments at this time regarding the petition for zero Shrine Ave? Of course. OK. Hey. Um, so what I would ask then, please state your name and your address, and then you can go ahead with your comments. So we're in 74 circles. Okay. I have a uh, discrepancy here with a 24 foot right away, 12 foot each way. You're going to have berms, sidewalk, and you're going to have a utility pole in the way. It's going to put you over 30 feet by about six inches. A variance is gonna be needed to put that right away in. Done my research, I know exactly what needs to be done. You need a 24 foot right away, you need a curb, you need a sidewalk, which is ADA compliant, it's not and it's are you done interrupting Mr. Uh, Evangelist? Yes, please, sir. please. Hey, keep, I have keep, the floor, sir. Please keep the language through me. Okay. Address me only. As long as he doesn't interrupt. Nobody will, will interrupt anybody else. With a utility pole that's going to be placed out on the curb, which he needs, it's going to put him at 31 feet 6 inches. I just wanted to put that out there. It's outside the 30 foot. It's going to put him outside about 6 inches. Done my research. I know everything about it. And that's what I have to say about that. Okay, thank you. Um, Six inches is what he needs a variance for. And it's going to have to go through the board, get approved, and... I'm sorry, I sit down. Uh, okay. Go ahead. It's going to encroach on wetlands. It's going to encroach on wetlands, and we're going to have to bring Concom back into this if he wants to approach six inches into wetlands. I just want to put that out there. Thank you. Um, comments from board members? Okay, hearing none. Are there other comments from the public? Yes, go ahead. Please state your name and your address. And Mario go ahead with Clarkville, your comment. 61 Shrine Ave, corner of Shrine Ave and Cabor Circle. Okay. And what I want to know is uh, have the rules and regulations for the Variance for a road changed in the last 18 years because back when this all started, 2006, they were denied the variance for the road because they didn't have enough room. Now we're here that they want to proceed, so I just want to know if the rules have changed. Um, I don't think so. No, I don't think the rules have changed. What the rules I do, have not changed. What I do want to make clear is, so what's before this board tonight and what isn't? before this board tonight. 
Okay, what's before this board is we're having a continued public hearing on a variance request that is now, um, the, the, the petitioner has now requested to withdraw his request. So he's not asking tonight for That's any right. zoning relief of any kind. Okay, so you're saying that the, uh, the variance rules have not changed. They're still the same as they Not to my, no I mean, variance, strictly speaking, variance rules are determined by state law, not by sort of zoning bylaws. That's, right. Just to make sure. that, that's my understanding. Go ahead, Raj. So nothing changed. Nothing on the variance rules changed. Okay. Okay. Other comments from members of the public? Go ahead. Stay your name here. 63 Shrine Ave. Yep. So Joe is withdrawing his uh, request for a variance. And his reason being that he doesn't really need a variance because he's grandfathered in, basically. Is that what I'm getting? So I think what he's referring to is that um, there was a special permit, I can't remember the year now, when it was originally granted, <laughs> back in 2007, good for 2008, yeah. 2008, something like that. That's a lot of good for a year, usually. But uh, understood, that, that's, that's already years. been litigated and cleared with, uh, with town council. Okay. So that issue is, is now done. There was, there was an appeal period, there is an appeal period um, it, related to the administrative appeal that was heard on that issue. Um, as to whether uh, there is or there isn't uh, sort of an appeal that's filed based on that decision, that's, uh, that's up to, to each individual um, person uh, as to whether or not that happens. But I just, I, I wanna be clear here tonight that given that, that he's asking now to withdraw, he's not asking for, for, for um, any zoning relief from this board tonight. So there's, there, there's no basis for us to ask him to do something different than, than, than what he's already been uh, granted by this board back whenever it was, 14 years ago, 15 years ago. Um, are there other, do you, do you have further comments, sir? I mean, I have, I have a lot of safety concerns regarding that particular street. Yeah. Have, and the lower circle and yeah. the other streets that are, you know, are surrounded. As far as, uh, uh, you know, West Boston Police Department yeah. can't, um, can't enforce anything on that road, which I've sent them videos of people going 50 miles an hour down that road, people almost getting killed. There's a deer crossing right where he wants to build the driveway, which I took pictures of a deer two hours ago coming out that deer crossing where the driveway is going into the new condo or whatever. I just have a wicked safety concern. Like I said, the West Boston Police will not do a thing. I sent them videos and stuff, and they said they'll set up right and they refuse to. There's no stop signs on any of the streets. Including Cabo Circle. Yep, understood. We'll come right through the streets. I have videos on my dash cam of people almost hitting me coming down that hill going 30 miles, 40 yeah. miles an hour. So there's no, there's no, you know, safety is a big concern. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just speaking for myself, I don't think anybody on this board is, is disagreeing with, with anything that, that you've just said or, or that anybody else has said yeah, here tonight. I've talked to the chief and I've talked to I the I don't police. disagree with any of that, but this board sort of ha only has limited jurisdiction, limited authority um, and it doesn't extend to things like traffic safety and and those when particularly in an instance where zoning relief isn't being requested so I understand your concern there are other avenues to address those you put your finger on one of them one is one is the police department we don't have control over that um, there are others you know the building inspector is still going to be involved the building department here is going to be involved because this is involving putting a new structure uh, um, on, on that property. So it's not as if there will no longer be other avenues um, for you to contact and, and, and uh, speak to sort of local on, on, on some of these issues. Uh, but just for, for this board, I'm trying to make sure that we stay focused on what we actually have a, you know, authority to deal with here. Right, and the other question I have is like, how long is this gonna go on? I mean, far I'm 64 as... and Joe's probably about my age. And it's like, we're we gonna be 84 years old, come to meetings here, they get variances or whatever to, to get this done. 
know, like I just, it's unbelievable how long it takes. No, this is uh, this is democracy at work. Right. I understand that. It's like huh? it's taking a long time. One I, second. Go ahead. Perhaps you know you could uh, explain what happened in the last meeting. The, so the what appeal. we voted on it last yeah. meeting, based on the town council's advice. Yes. So what uh, what we are going to do today, based on uh, you know this, this process, maybe you could explain it to them. You know. Yeah, absolutely. So, and we had, I want to say, three different evenings, the, the the public hearing that dealt with the administrative appeal on this issue. Um, I think it, it, it was held over a three month period, so there were three public hearings. I know people who are here tonight, I think, attended one, one or, or several of those. Um, and basically, the, the question there was what was the effect of the original special permit that was granted back in the, you know, the late 2000 and aughts, whatever it was, 07, 08. I, I, I don't have that in front of me right now. But what was the legal effect of that? And as it turned out, we, we sought legal advice from our town council. And we were told, uh, essentially, that they did the necessary steps that they needed to in order to essentially preserve that old special permit from, for, from way back when, more than 10 years ago now. Which is, uh, which is they did build the buildings, the four units, within a year time. They started that, and they, they had leased one of them, as, yeah. as, as I recall. So that the, and, and they had also split the lot. Um, pursuant to the uh, the original special permit, so we were asking the question legally: Is that their, their right to preserve their ability to build this second multifamily unit? And the legal answer that we received from town council was yes. Okay, so the so their appeal was granted last month at the last hearing, uh, and now all that's left is the petition for the variance, which is now requested to be withdrawn without prejudice. Um, without prejudice, thank you for that. So, um, so sort of that's where we are. Um, again, I, I do want to stress it's not as if if this board chooses to withdraw the petition tonight, it is not as if you no longer have outlets to to seek within the town. Um, there, I mean, obviously the still the town hall is going to be here, the building department is going to be here, the police department, fire, they're all st going to be here. They are all aware of this project. They have all received all the, the paperwork uh, that, that was related to this, just as we have. So all these departments and more are aware of this. The Board of Health is aware. The Conservation Commission is aware. So, why so there are still down, avenues. Why is it coming out tonight where he withdraws the petition without prejudice? So the re but yet, we weren't told of this. And told why did he apply for a, a petition for a variance? So that's a legal determination, evidently, that his counsel made. I mean, there are any number of ways uh, that, that you can seek zoning relief as a landowner. In but is it, he doesn't need it. That's why he's dropping the petition for a variance. But we just found so, out now. Found out it's what? Convenient. Found out what now? That he's dropping that. We just found out now as we were walking up the stairs that he's drop in the variance. Yeah, we, we, we've all just, just heard that now, yeah. but there's, there's nothing no, but why, impermissible what's the reason why the, the you can always, you can always well. drop a, a, a zoning relief request at any Without time. Letting us know. What's the reason why the petition for variance was dropped? He, he, he already stated that. Right, I need to hear that again, it's, Joe. It's, a little, so, look, I, I really want it. I'm just it, here to request to, that the petition be dismissed without prejudice. So l let me just let me just rewind a little bit because I, I really want to nip this in the bud. Okay. Um, again, I understand everybody's frustration. Trust me, I do. I've been in the position of being on the losing side of a of a zoning decision right next to my house in the past. Okay. I understand it's not pleasant. I get it. You have my sympathy, but. That doesn't change the fact that we have to follow the law in any case that comes before this board. And that's what this board has done. If you were at the previous hearings, you would acknowledge that what this board decided last meeting was we decided to follow the advice of town council and to grant the administrative appeal that was requested. Okay, so now just briefly, 
what was what's been before this board for the last three months was uh, the, the petitioner requested two types of zoning relief one was an administrative appeal originally because the building inspect excuse me because the building inspector denied him a building permit okay and that decision was appealed hence the administrative appeal that we've been dealing with the last three months okay and then in, in, in addition to filing that administrative appeal, he also filed a petition for a variance. Okay, there, there's nothing improper about that. There's nothing, um, there, there's, there, there's no sort of legal issue uh, that, that arises. Um, any landowner is, is free uh, to, to sort of seek zoning relief in any way that they see fit or their attorney sees fit. Okay, so that's what's happened. Uh, in, in this instance. Substantially, I think the reason, and, and, and he just mentioned it uh, effectively, the reason why I think he's withdrawing the variance tonight is because he no longer needs it, because the appeal was granted. So now the building inspector um, is, uh, is going to be issuing that building permit uh, that he had previously not allowed. Uh, that's where we are, and it's, because, it's not because this board wants this building there or, or, or anything like that. It's because under the law, the special permit from way back when in 2008 has that legal effect that they are still allowed to build what they proposed to build all the way back in 2008. That's sort of the, the summary of how we got to where we are tonight. Um, and they did split up the land to build the- That was way back in 2008. The new, the left on the land, the variances. Well, when they split the land, that was again pursuant to the original special permit. So that they had they had subdivided the original one large lot into the now two existing lots, uh, pursuant to that special permit, and that was perfected, according to our town council, uh, when when they went through the A and R process with the planning board back in whatever it was, two thousand eight, two thousand nine. To add on to that. There is a 20-day appeals period. It's so okay. based on the, for our uh, uh, spe uh, special building, permit, special decision. permit. It ended I'm sorry. Special, I'm sorry. special I'm sorry. permit uh, appeal. Yeah. I'm sorry. Appeal. It, ended, it ended today. Yeah. So we came to know, you know, there was no, no appeal. No one contested on that. Yeah. No. Yeah. So 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 that's where we are. Are there any last questions? And hopefully, it's we're, we're, if, if there are comments that we're covering new ground here. Yes, my hand's been up for about 30, okay. 30 minutes. Go ahead. Um, the building inspector that we spoke about previously, still in, same building inspector that's still in office now? Yes. 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 No, 100%. No. 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 It was not. It was not the previous building inspector. It was the current building inspector who made that original zoning. It was yeah. George, I thought, that's in the original. It was never acted on it. It was not. He may seven, have received seven years ago. No, no, this was earlier this year. Yeah. Oh, this was earlier. I'm this talking year. about the previous one we were talking about. From 2008, 2009, yes. 2006. Different oh, building. That wasn't a building inspected decision. That was a zoning board decision okay. for a special permit. Uh, nobody who's on the board today no, was I'm on, not the, on board the board back then. So that was made by five other different board. Uh, Town set of town residents from what 16 years ago, whenever it was. Does that answer your question? Somewhat. Okay. Any other la uh, last comments from the public? Yes, go ahead. State We're having a real book about a circle yep. for the record. Yep. We've been fighting this for a long time. Yep. It doesn't seem like anybody cares about what people in, the, in that area no. say. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares. We have gone to every meeting we've had. We've gone to CONCOM. We've gone to everything we possibly can mm -hmm. to tell you this is a very dangerous thing that you're allowing. Mm -hmm. And that people are going to get hurt here. And it's not a good thing at all. He's got a condo there already. That big road going in there is going to be such a cluster right there. That road he's putting in. And wasn't it convenient that when he did his his uh, appeal or a special permit that your board, not you, but the board then didn't put a date on that. 
If they had put a date on that, we wouldn't even be here today. That bothers me. You guys got to get make sure you put dates on things. That's not fair to us. Because that's screwing us right now. So he gets his permit because he knows how to slip through all these things. So he gets that, and here we are. And now he's denying the, you know, he knows exactly today is the last day. We can't even appeal because today's the last day. Isn't that convenient that you guys put the date in the day that it, we can't appeal it? It's just one thing after another with it's, this guy. He no, has it, every loophole in the world, a, and you guys let him do it on the record. That's all. That's all I want to say. I'm so sick of it. I've been doing it for freaking six years. Why don't you guys think well, about how we feel? Why do you have these meetings? So, Lynn, there is nothing, uh, nothing connected with the special, uh, the building inspector uh, appeal, the last decision we made, and also the variance. You could have made the, we had 20 days. It's not like we made one day for an appeal period. 20 days, so you know it very well. I, you know I, it, I, you, I are, you are in the, this. Lynn, you are in the town clerk's office. You know there is a 20 day appeal period. You could, have, you, you could have made an appeal I on that. I should have, I should have. Yeah, yeah you could have made it, too. you know you know what is going on. Yeah. You know what's going on, you know. There is a 20 day appeal period. It's it not like, no, on. no, he what I'm saying, can I, I don't know can, when the dates overlap. No, can I say that, you know, that decision is different. This one is different. This is for the variant. That one is for the building inspector's administrative appeal. Appl administrative appeal, basically, you know, the building inspector said because of the uh, uh, variants which they received 2008, is it valid or not? Based on the based on the town council's advice, based on the power hearings, we made a, the board made a decision to, you know, to deny the building inspector's uh, uh, denial, right? Yeah. So that somebody might have been, you know, you know it very well. You could have, you could have said then uh, appealed it. So, or, you know, there are other avenues, you know, maybe you can, I don't know how to, how to say this. There are other avenues you can take. Oh, really? What? What can we do to fight this that we haven't already done? What can we possibly do now to fight this? We've been doing it for six years. And what can see, we do now? We can't give legal advice. From we can't board. do... Oh, okay. This is a legal issue. So I have to call a lawyer. We can't give legal advice. Well, we can't. We're, we're not sitting yeah. out here as lawyers. I'm just asking you because you're the just... people I come to for help. I've been coming to you guys for help for five years, and I'm not getting any, nothing. It's building, and there's nothing I can do about it except move. I, That's what I guess I have to do. Great. I sympathize. Thank you guys. Maybe we should adjourn the meeting because Joe's getting a little upset up there. So I'm not upset. Joe's, well. Joe's just sighing and right. everything so else. When do you get home to dinner? I thank everybody for your comments. Um, I do appreciate your your openness. Uh, and your willingness to, to come to the board uh, and, and, and uh, you know uh, and explain to us um, what, what your what your feelings and your thoughts are. I do appreciate that. What about like when he builds? I mean, are we going to have any trees left? Are there going to be? Is there going to be anything if he decides he's going to just take everything down, put up this huge road, put up more stuff that we can't handle so in our area? Who do we go to? You're free to ask him those questions. Anytime. I'll be more than happy to meet with anybody at any time to go over screening and things like that for yeah. sure. And you're also free to 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 go to the, the, the building, building department system. and ask those questions. You're entitled to those answers. Sure. Uh, from from, from the, the building department uh, or from him if you ask. Um, I'm sure you'll get some information there. So information doesn't do any good. Well. Again, this is something where the wheels were set in motion more than 15 years ago. So, our effectively, this is only so much we can do. Um, that's that's the hard truth here. Um, and again, I understand the frustration, uh, but this is the system that we have to work with. This this is this is what we have. Uh, so, can I just again, clarify the 30 foot the gentleman had briefly, about briefly? Okay. So it's not the width of the road that's the 30 feet, it's the length, it's the area between <clears throat> the road, the residential zoned area, so it's, it's, a, it's a length thing and not a width thing. Okay. You can use 30 feet 
when we got the special permit, you were allowed to use 30 feet of the residential zone. And that's a length thing. You, anywhere in that 30 feet, you can construct your driveway. Okay. But in the spring, they, they changed the zoning to say you couldn't use 30 feet anymore. Right. But our special permit locked us in. It's zone freeze to, as the time we got the special permit. Thank you. Okay. All right. And so with that, are there, uh, is there a motion to close the public? No. There's a question. So with your 30 feet. Through, through the chair, please. With his 30 feet that he was previously allowed to have, is this still subsident? Is this something that the 30, you guys approve? The 30 feet buffer that you're referring to, that has to do with the zoning district. Split lots. Which you guys occupy because you are the zoning board of appeals, correct? Yeah, Am I right or not? What, what, Am I right or wrong? What we are wrong your point. He needs 30 feet. <laughs> he has 30 feet. He needs 30 feet 6 inches, which he does not have. Not a way. If, anybody, if anybody were to look at the plans, if there were a set of blueprints here, and you look at the width, he needs 30 feet 6 inches because there has to be a riser pole at the end of his lot to bring utilities into the district. 30 feet, 6 inches. He does not have 30 feet, 6 inches. Done my research. And I don't know if anybody here has seen the set of prints or seen anything that goes along with this. In order to put a roadway in, he needs 24 feet, a curb, 4 feet of sidewalk, which already puts you, do the map, and then a riser pole somewhere in between that does not inhibit the American with Disability Act for a four-foot access for somebody to come down that sidewalk with a wheelchair. It's he a, cannot put a utility pole, a riser pole, in the sidewalk. It's a driveway, not a road. So just you need a sidewalk on the side, sir. Just a couple of things. Just a couple of things, please, through me. Issue whoa, whoa. That this board is excuse me, Chairman. No, excuse me, excuse me Chairman. Excuse me. Can you tell I him? I will talk right now. Can you tell him you to speak through down. you as well? You will sit down. Can you tell him to speak through you, you as well instead of speaking chief. directly to me? Do you want me to call the police chief? Go ahead. He needs no, to speak. You're he talk needs to speak through you as I do. He can speak to me and not get. All right, go on. That's it. Please. Go we're, on, we're sir. Done. Okay, so we're done. done. We're not done. We're done. I had a question on the floor. We're done. I had a question on the floor, Mr. Olson. Are we going to close the public hearing? We are so patient, you know. We, we did allow you many questions, you know. I had a question. Uh, yeah. And Mr. Evangelista spoke to me directly, but I'm not allowed to speak to him directly? Uh, we, we will, yeah, we, we'll, we'll take care of that. Thank you. You're going to take that up with him on the sidebar. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for your time. So, talk through the chat. No problem. Thank you. There is no sidebar here. No it's problem. an open meeting. Everyone is watching. Video is recording. We are not doing any sidebar. It's the same rule for you. Sure. Same rule for everyone. Talk through the chairman. Thank no. you. That's all I was asking. Okay. Thank you. Is there a motion to close the public hearing? Motion to close the public hearing. Is there a second? Second. We'll do a voice vote. Uh, Dave, your vote to close the public hearing. Can't hear you, Dave. Can you unmute your uh, your line? Oh, I'm going to vote yes, but I want to make a comment before we dispose of the action altogether. Okay. John, your vote, sir. Yes. To close. Chris, to your vote. Yes. Okay, I want to say yes to and close the yes public hearing. Well. Five zero. The hearing. The public, public hearing is closed. Dave, you had a comment to make? Yes. I have a question for Mr. Evangelista, if that's possible. Quickly. Go ahead. Okay. I'm just wondering if Mr. Evangelista, before you started any construction, would you be willing to sit down with the abiders and discuss the landscaping? Like what they're concerned about tearing down certain trees and stuff 
So I'm just wondering if you guys could, you know, sit down and come to some kind of compromise. Absolutely. Yeah, right. Any other questions, Dave? Okay. No, that's it. I, I got my answer then. Thank you, Mr. Evangelista. I appreciate that. Enjoy New York. Okay. Do we have, uh, is there a motion to vote Lent. on the so moved. We get a variance to kill all the data. Okay. Special second season. We have a motion and a second to withdraw without prejudice. Yes. Okay, we'll do a voice vote again. Dave, your vote to withdraw without yes. prejudice. That's it. Yes. Okay. John, your vote to withdraw. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 My vote is yes. And my vote is yes. It's 5 0. The, the petition for variance is withdrawn without prejudice. Uh, thank you, Mr. Evangelista. Thank you, thank everyone, you. for coming this evening. Um, 7 30. Moving on. We have now we have a continued public hearing for Sorry, 101 R Hartwell Street. Good evening. Good evening. I'm good. How are you tonight? <laughs> good. Uh, for the record, my name is Heather Dudko, 27 Old Meeting House Road in Auburn, Mass, and I work with the sign installer, Sign Effects. Scott Hardy, I'm the director of corporate facilities for the Coughlin Companies. Thank you. Okay. As you're aware, this is a this is a continued hearing from last month. Uh, by the way, I do want to acknowledge that we did receive your. Uh, your email earlier in the week about you know that the, the sort of the, the, the mock-up yep mock-up yep full board oh yes I'm, I'm sorry we do not have a oh god <laughs> i'm not the chat sorry well actually we <laughs> do have two remote so we do have five that is a five between dave i, what? I participated John? the last oh, okay. yes, we have five okay. does that work but we need to make sure dave is going to be there yeah right? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> so, so we're all set. Okay. So um, I, I hope that everyone did have a chance to look at the banner that was put up. So that, that gives a representation of the size, but it will look a little different since the lettering will, be, will not have a background. The, let, the lettering will just be on the building. Yeah. So did everyone have a chance to see it? Is this the original size you requested on the application? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so I have. You, that was helpful. Okay, great. I did get a chance to yeah. see it. I uh, did too. I drove by there today. Not that one. And it's I know that road pictures road were taken uh, by one of the board members, and they were shared with the entire board. So okay. um, even if there's uh, a case that a, that a board member didn't get to see it in person, okay. uh, we've, got, we've got pictures. Uh, so with that, we, ju we just would reiterate that we just feel that that's an appropriate size for that building. Yeah. Um, 226 is the square footage. As I said, you would not have the, the border around it as the banner is there now. It would just be this just lettering, that. just that lettering flush against the building yeah. above the entrance. It looked like the banner was a little offset a little bit. The lettering will be right over the entrance. Okay. Um, so we just we would just reiterate that um, due to the size of the building, the setback of the building, the orientation of the building, that the, the request for that size sign um, is appropriate. Okay. For the record, can you say, uh, can you tell the, you know, for for the record as well as for the public, can you say how big the... Uh, 226 square foot. And then just as a reminder, there's the second sign on the left side of the building that says 6K. That's the second sign. There was no issue, I believe, with the board with that sign last last meeting. The square footage of that one again? 53? The 53? Yeah. I do have it somewhere. Actually. Yep, 53. It's in the minutes to other question other questions from board members? Yes. Go ahead, Dave. <laughs> okay, at the last meeting, uh, when it was presented, I uh, I thought that two hundred and twenty six Square feet was way too big, considering that our bylaw says 30 square feet. So we're asking almost seven times 
what the bylaw states. First of all, thank you for the email. I did go out and view the, uh, the, the building and view the sign that was there. Um, when I got close enough, I saw that the sign was huge. I did go back out to the street, out to Hotball, Hotball Street, and I still think that the sign is too big. I think that with the view that you have coming down Hotball Street, you should have no problem seeing that sign. So I'm thinking more of, you're, you're saying it's 22.16 by nine. I'm looking at about uh, probably 18 by nine. 18 feet by nine feet, you're saying? Yep, yep. So approximately 175 square feet, somewhere in there? Yep, yep. Because there's a perfect view from, from I, I got at the end of Hotwell Street, right at, right before I got to Cosme, Cosmetics. And I was looking at the sign and I said, I thought that even if the sign was smaller, people would still be able to see it. As a matter of fact, the one thing that I did notice about cos cos cosmetic is that they have a sign right on hot walls, right on the street, and then they have a sign that's right on, on the front of the building. And it's only like 20 or 30 feet. They're only 20, 30 feet from each other. So definitely nobody's going to miss that. We were just so I, think that two, I still think that 226 is too big. Other comments from, from other board members? So can you, can I ask the question? Yeah, please. So this 226 is, uh, what is the length and uh, what is the width? So it's 108 inches. One, hold on, 108? 108 by 302. 302. Does that come to, I hope that comes to 226. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's things in here. Yeah. Again, we um, have to the, take on the map, it has it in inches, is that right? Right, correct. We do have to take into consideration that that background is not going to be there. It's just going to be the letters. Right. So 108, it's nine, it's nine foot tall, the three lines of text, nine feet overall height. It's on this this page right here. The, all the dimensions are on this page. I know I saw it. Mr. Chair, this page. Oh, thank you. It has all the dimensions. Right here. So nine foot overall height, the three lines of text. 302 inches. 25.1 foot width. Thank you. So this is 302, oh, okay. and uh, this, the, all this letter, 108. So what did he say, 9 by what? 9 by 18. And the three mm -hmm. different letters. This is 42, this is 30, you wouldn't, you this can't. is 9. Okay. Yeah. I have to show my name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. I think I would just like to just reiterate again, the building is not parallel with Hartwell Ave. So there's no opportunity for any kind of ground sign to enter that lot. It's a rear lot. The building is perpendicular to Hartwell and it's not viewed directly parallel on Hartwell Avenue. Yep. And that just gives, that's the basis for the size is the orientation of the building, the approaching of the building, the setback of the building and the size of the facade. So I do have another question. What kind of signs will be there? Is this a illuminating sign? Correct. They're facelit illuminated channel letters. It's a color? Black. Black color? Black. black and white? Black. What do you mean by black? They're black lettering. It's black lettering. Black lettering and white background. No, they're, no, they're blue, actually. No. Oh, they're blue? Yeah. <laughs> it should be blue. <laughs> They'll be blue. It's a blue color. <laughs> They'll be blue on the white building. The building is white. And as, as we said, when you view the, the mock-up that's there now, it's a banner. So you see the perimeter of the banner. These will be flush-mounted individual channel letters on the building. One lane. So you will not see visually a border around it. It's just the lettering. 
like the and, U- and I can say, say I'm it's sorry? like the UMass. Oh, <laughs> um, and I can say so when I drove up, um, so coming from what is it, Shrewsbury Street, driving on yep. Podwell Hill. Yep. I was looking. I I know sort of where the building is. I'm looking at it. I couldn't see it at all. Correct. Past the buildings, and I think there were some trees there as mm-hmm. well blocking it. And then you drive past those, and then you can see sort of. At, at a certain point, you can see the building that, that sort of does abut Hartwell, yep. but you can't see the, the building that, that you're referring to here. Right. Um, I couldn't see the sign as, as it's up now, literally, until after I drove onto the property. Right. That was the first the point one, at which I could see it. Yep. So for me, um, it doesn't seem to be, um, you know, uh, like it's it, it's it's detimental at all to to, to, to the area that, that that's going on okay. there. Um, again, I couldn't see it until to? until I drove on I mean, onto the property. But if if other folks on the board have comments, I'll please feel free. Yeah, John. Now, John, if you have a comment, uh, feel free. You are muted, John. <laughs> uh, there we go. I think I unmuted myself that time. Uh, no, um, I, I looked at the stuff that was provided, and I, Chris, I think I'm echoing what you say. I think a significant piece of this for me is the area that it's in. I mean, this is uh, in an industrial area, so I, I, that factors heavily into how I view this issue. Okay. I'm not sure if that's what you were getting at in your comments. That's how I interpreted it, Chris. No, I, I think you're right on. You, you, you stated it better than I did, so thank you for that. Um, I, 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 I tend to agree in, in that when I look at that area, industrial part of town, uh, the sign itself, it, I don't see, doesn't, I, I don't, doesn't like stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, and then with the unique nature of that building, like where it's located off of the, from the street, yeah. I, when, when looking at it all, it doesn't, it, yeah, I don't, it doesn't bother me. Like when I look at it, I, it, it's, yeah, it's just my opinion. Yeah. For me, you know, for some reason, you know, I did not get the email from the secretary. You but, did not? No, but, 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 <laughs> but, I did go see the site. I took several pictures and I did send it to the chair because I cannot send it to the entire board. So I did send it to the chair. I think uh, my impression or the way I look at it is when I, uh, when I took the picture from the road or from that, uh, mm-hmm entrance of the road it was very 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 small sign so yes when i go near the sign when i go near the the two car park it, the in front of the building mm-hmm. the car one line and the second line it was humongous so it was big uh, and also when i took the picture from the other car cosmetics building it was okay but when i go to the road it's very smaller sign so my feeling is, you know, it, again, it doesn't bother anybody. I don't think so. It will be a, you know, so my feeling is it's not going to affect anything. Okay. Yeah, I could say at first, this, like when I, when I hear about the size of the sign, it sounds very big, but <laughs> like, like you've mentioned, uh, when, I, when we compare it against the relative size of the building and the area it's in, it's okay. It doesn't. It for, you know, and then the mock-ups here help it even shows it and how it on there um, like maybe if, if if it was let's say on some on some at some small mm-hmm. place in West Boylston Street yeah, that, that would, would be a different be story different, I'd yeah. say, whoa this yeah. thing's like sticking yeah. out this then if it's illuminated and all that but yeah. that area it, yeah and all the all the factors that we when I look at it it, it seems okay to me and I, I, I just want to point out too that the 226 is an entire rectangle around the sign that's the ultimate mm-hmm. dimension of the sign. If you were to break it down, the Coughlin is 89 square foot, the company's is 64 square foot, and the tagline is 19 square foot, which totals 172. So we did give an extreme measurement at 226. But if you were to break it down to the three components, it's about 172. Okay. Yeah. If that helps. Which is actually close to what Dave, Dave was mentioning was, earlier. Yeah. Uh, about 175. Dave? Yeah? So if you take up 
only only the sci only the lettering it comes to 175 or 172 I think. 172 yeah just the lettering you know, if you make a square around all those lettering it is 226 but when only when you take only when you take the the three components. The three components. Three three components you yeah. know. One is forty-two point three four inches. The second line company is thirty point five three inches. The commercialization reimagined is nine point zero two inches, and the length is three hundred and two inches, which is uh, going, which gives you approximately one seventy-five. Two. One seventy-two. Okay. You can go to the public. Um, yeah, are there public comments uh, on this? Please state your name and your address for the record. Steve McRichian, 127 Hartwell Street, West Boston, Mass. I'm the landlord of the building at 101 R. Hartwell. And I happened to uh, do a drive around today and uh, just reference some other buildings in town. And uh, the FedEx building on uh, Century Drive in town. I happen to take a picture of that sign, and uh, relative to the scale, the but, size of the sign. But that is in Wooster, sign, right? It's in Wooster, right? I think that's West Boylston. On the other side is Wooster side, I guess. I yeah, think when you get close to the it. street, it's Wooster. I think it's in a weird spot. Up, yeah. When you pass um, the new, what is it, the new Boy Scouts, Girl yeah. Scout building on the left, and then the Red Cross building. Yeah. In front of you, the FedEx building is behind that building. That's definitely in West Boylston. So, um, I didn't get access to inside the building. I didn't talk to anyone inside. The facility was locked, so this was a remote picture. But looking at the scale from the size of the door, that's an eight foot door. I would say that FedEx sign is probably twice the width of an eight foot door, so it's probably 16 feet wide. And I estimate it's probably, that's probably a 10 foot door, so it's probably five feet high. So if I do some quick math, 16, five, five, I mean, that's, that's over 80 feet. That's just the lettering, but I just wanna reference that this particular building, this particular sign, is also an example of a sign that's outside the uh, current regulations uh, denoted by the limitations of size. So just an FYI. There are other signs larger than what the sign ordinance in town. There are other signs on other buildings in town with larger signs. Okay. Just an FYI. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Mr. Chairman. Um, other questions, comments from board members on this? Okay. Um, I have a motion to close the public hearing. Is that the one? As, yeah, as long as there's no further questions from, from board members, I'm, I'm comfortable closing the, the yeah, public hearing at, at this point. John. Um, John. It sounds like, um, sounds like we're there. So that being the case, then I'll entertain. You want to check in with John? Um, I think he's our, John, did you have a comment? I'm sorry. No, I did not. Oh, okay. All okay. right, so motion to close the public, uh, pub public hearing. We have a motion, do we have a second? Second. Do we have five? Thank you. I'll just make a note of this. Okay, so we will uh, do a voice vote on whether to close the public hearing for the variance at uh, 101R Hartwell Street. Uh, and this is, uh, it's the hearing for both signs that, that we've talked about, both last meeting and this one. Uh, so that being the case, uh, Dave, I'll give you your vote to close the public hearing. Yes. Okay, uh, John, your vote to close the public hearing? Yes. Okay, Chris? Yes. Raj? Yes. And I'm a yes as well, it's 5-0. The public hearing is closed. Any comments from board members? Yes. Go ahead, Dave. One thing that I have not heard through this whole process is the conditions that are supposed to be met to grant the variance. So I don't know 
Did they meet all the conditions or not? Yeah, so I, I was actually just looking at those. Um, and so the first one is around soil conditions, shape, or topography of the land. Um, and I mean, just given sort of the nature of where the building is, and I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but given sort of the uh, distance from the road, the distance from the road, the the way this is, is this building on its own separate, separate lot? Yes. yes. It just doesn't have a lot of, all that much frontage. It doesn't on have any, front, it doesn't have any frontage. It doesn't have any frontage. Okay. So, so again, there, Dave, I, I would argue that that's I, sort of falls under the shape um, of the uh, of the the particular land at issue here, and sort of um, you know shape and location, let's say in this case. Then, um, if you're looking at the the second part of the test, um, let's see. Literal enforcement. Uh, oh, hang on. Especially affecting such land or structure. We talked about that. Is this being sort of a, a peculiar uh, problem that doesn't really sort of apply to uh, to other either buildings on Hartwell Ave in, in the in the zoning uh, in the industrial zone or or on West Boylston Street, as as also was mentioned. Um, so those are things that sort of especially affect this land, but don't affect ge the, the general zoning district in which it's located. Um, so I think we've also talked about the sort of sub substantial hardship, financial or otherwise, to the petitioner, um, you know, based on sort of, again, um, the location of the land and the difficulty in seeing um, uh, the business and, and seeing the building and, and the entrance the civility, the civility yeah. of the business right uh, and then the third one is let's see relief may be granted without substantial detriment to the public good and without nullifying or substantially derogating from the intent or purpose of the zoning bylaw so I mean I, I think it's clear here that I mean first of all the variances are allowed in this instance or in generally speaking, variances can be allowed. But I think in this particular instance, as we've talked about, given the particular lot, given the lack of frontage on Hartwell, um, I don't see um, that there's sort of uh, an issue um, with, you know, sort of not abiding by, by the, current, the, the current zoning bylaw. Um, I know I'm not being particularly clear here, but anybody else on the board want to make comments on this? I'll catch my breath. No, you got everything covered. Any other questions on that, Dave? No, as long as you, as long as you can assure me that all the, all the criteria has been met, then I don't have a problem. Okay, I mean, I, I, so I would say this. I think the, the three criteria have been addressed as to whether they're met, I think it's. I think we. That's what we as a board need to decide. Um, so I mean, I, I won't sort of pr make that as a pronouncement, but I'll say. I mean, I, it seems to me there's there's substantial facts on the record to to arguably meet each of those um, prongs of the test, if you will. Um, John, feel free to disagree with me. Chris, Raj, I'd certainly feel free to disagree, but. Um, no, Chris. I think you, I think you have it right, and I think at the public, the last well, last session of this public hearing, uh, the petitioner did lay this out as to their argument and relative to the topography. Uh, and I don't recall if that if that was provided to us in writing or if that was just orally made. But they certainly at the first uh, in session of this hearing, uh, I recall them addressing those issues and, and making their argument based, uh, not simply asking for a variance, but making their argument based on the, um, the criteria for a variance. But I, I don't recall, and I don't see it in front of me, that it was a written out argument, but it certainly was addressed. Yeah, that, and that's my recollection as well. Yeah. So thank you, John. Uh, so if, if there aren't any other questions or comments from board members, then I'll entertain a 
motion to approve the variance. I make a motion to approve that. Uh, Heather Hopkins. That co. That co. Thank you. And the BS, B and S Reality LLP for a variance for the installation of two wall signs which exceeds the allowable sign area pursuant to the zoning bylaw section 5.6 C2 at Hartwell, the 101 R Hartwell Street. And uh, the sign, uh, the requesting sign, do we need to mention that, the area? We, we, uh, th is this enough? Yeah, let, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll add those just on the record, yeah. just to make it clear. So one is 226, which we were just talking about, and then 53. Yeah. yeah. So the one sign is three zero times three hundred and two inches in length and one oh eight inches in height and the letter coglin is forty two point three four inches and the company's is thirty point five three inches in height and then the commercialization reimagined is nine point zero two inches which the uh, drawing is provided to the zoning board and also the second sign is uh, 6k okay, yep. okay. let me see that other previous page just before now the second sign dimension is the second sign is at 6k the length is 116.16 inch, and the height is 65.52 inches. That's my motion. Okay, and that, that was uh, a motion to approve. Motion to approve the, the variance. Yeah, that was, that was I said. Okay, is there a second? Second. Okay, so we have a motion, we have a second. Thank you. Are there any uh, comments from board members? at this time before we vote. Considering the fact that all the conditions were met that a variance requires, my vote would be yes. Okay, so that's that's the comment. Um, hearing no other comments from board members, then we'll go ahead and vote. So Dave, uh, please go ahead and make your vote formally at this time. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, John Benson, please go ahead and make your vote. Yes. Hey, Chris? Yes. My vote is yes. Okay, my vote is yes as well. It's five zero. Motion carries. The motion carries. The variance is granted. Excellent. Um, there will be a written decision to this effect filed with the town clerk yeah. within two weeks, within 14 days. And also Perfect. the appeal period. And then appeal period. Yeah. And there's an appeal period after that. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very evening. much. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. You too. You Thank too. you. All right, moving on to the next topic on the agenda. Continued public hearing. For special permit for an accessory apartment in a single family home at 335 Lancaster Street. Uh, Mr. Lou, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Pretty good. Excellent. Excellent. Too hot enough in the past yes. few days. Yeah. I think it's supposed to cool off at least a little bit tomorrow. Yeah. Right? That's what I'm hearing. So, all right, excellent. So, let me just recap. Um, what happened last month and, and, and what has progressed since then. So I think you'll recall at the last meeting, uh, some questions came up um, both around um, input from the Board of Health and input from the building inspector uh, as, to, as to this project. So as promised at the last hearing, I reached out to both um, and I provided you with, their, with the emails and, and with their, their feedback. Yep. Uh, so just to summarize, um, my understanding, and, and by the way, all the board members have those, those uh, emails as well. So uh, all, all five of us have access to that and, and I'm sure have, have read it. Um, but just to summarize, uh, the Board of Health did confirm that adding sort of an independent unit above the garage, uh, as, as you were uh, proposing, um, that that would be something that the uh, existing septic system um, it was sort of designed to handle and that that, that shouldn't be an issue uh, in this in this particular instance uh, secondly with, with regard to the building inspector uh, the building inspector confirmed that he had been there um, that so he has been on site 
He's looked um, at sort of, uh, you know, the, the particular rooms uh, that are at issue here for, for, the, for the accessory apartment. Um, and he confirmed that uh, I think the only other thing that would be needed from his side had to deal with, I think, a little bit of uh, sort of finishing work around. Was it the plumbing, I believe, or the electrical? I can't remember what it no, was. No, I think he just uh, sort of just finished the, the damage of, the, uh, of that room because okay. the, the water That's damage. So basically we have to put the new floors. We have to fix the walls because they cut a certain height of the wall because okay. of the, uh, the water damage. So okay. I think in the email he mentioned, I just have to fix the water damage. Okay, excellent. Um, but at least, so from a zoning perspective, um, it didn't seem like the building inspector had any additional sort of issues with it on his end. And I just want to read through what the requirements are before we uh, consider voting here. So under an accessory apartment, there's a number of requirements that have to be met. Um, one of which is, and I think you've already submitted uh, to, to Toby, our secretary, a declaration of covenant. Yep. Um, es essentially, it's, it's an affidavit saying um, that, that you promise to be living in one of the dwelling units. A special permit, should, should it be granted, uh, is in effect. Yep. Um, so I think that uh, is, is taken care of there. Only one apartment will be created within the single family dwelling. That, that also is true in this instance. Uh, shall be designed so that the appearance of the building remains that of a one-family residence. Um, you're not proposing to do any exterior changes, no, that's right? Not. So, so the building isn't going to look any different. Um, It'll be exact same once you're done from from, from what it is now. Um, okay, uh, and then it talks about accessory apartments shall be no greater than 700 square feet, nor shall it contain more than one bedroom. Um, I know we talked about that last month. The the building inspector, I think the number that he gave was closer to 300 feet, actually, in his email. Um, I wasn't exactly sure where he came up with that number, but um, oh, it's... I do so, remember it was a lot, it seemed a lot, lot less than 700 feet. Yeah. It's definitely... Well, I've, I've got the email, the number. so let's just, let me yeah, just... Because actually, I was going to ask, no, why, because I got a code from a few different contractors, because I, I, I want to know how much it costs to fix the auto damage. And you know, the, uh, the number they gave to me is definitely less than 700 square feet. Yeah, right here. So he wrote in his email, the square footage is a little over 300 square feet. Yeah. Um, so again, um, that, that seems to be, I mean, he, he's, he's been there. And I know you had mentioned, I think you had mentioned at the previous public hearing that there was, uh, you had given us, well, let me see if I can find it here. I think the number was a little bit higher, but it was still within, 700 square feet. Let me see if I can find it here quickly. Yeah, 335 Lancaster. Yeah. This is so it has a kitchen, it has a bedroom, and it has a bathroom. Is, yeah. is that accurate? No. Yeah. Those okay. are the three yeah. parts. Okay. And the egress? Yes, yeah, so the egress I think we talked about. Is there a set of stairs behind? Yeah, the so building? still is like from the back of the house. Okay, so is that oh, behind so the garage? Uh, no, I mean it's, it's or behind a, the house. It, it's a. Uh, oh, you mean the room? The room is actually above the garage. Yeah, yeah. And so the, the, the stairs, stairs to from the right back of the garage. The yeah. 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 So it's go, going back from the from, exactly. from the garage. There's the stairs to that room, and the room is on top of the, uh, the garage. Okay. Good. Stairs in the back. Okay. Is there a question, Dave? Do you have a question? You're muted, Dave. You have mute, Dave. You're mute. You're muted. As long as the building inspector has been out and has confirmed that, um, you know, that there's no building code violations or anything, and he's satisfied with, you know, with everything, then then I'm satisfied too. Okay. And well, just yeah. as long as as long as we, yeah, you know, yeah. go through all the um, the list like you just did, as long as that's all taken care of, then I don't have. Just make sure that the declaration, uh, covenant, uh, declaration of covenant, explain to me, to the to the petitioner what exactly that means. Yep, uh, actually, we, we certainly we'll do that. Um, I just want to finish going through the list here. Uh, you're, so you're Chris, not. Because, 
ahead. Can I just interrupt you for a second? Okay, I'm at my destination, so I'm going to be stepping out of the car for a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay? I think we should hold then. Can we take a recess? Yeah, why don't we take a recess at this time just for, for a couple okay. of minutes? Doug, can we take a recess? I apologize for this. Uh, no, we'll just... Just need Raj now. Thank you. We're, we're just waiting for Raj now at this point. Okay. All right. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate it. Not at all. We're, we're just uh, just just one more minute. Oh, here here we are. One more minute. back are we back on tv we're all set there mm -hmm. yeah i'm all set excellent day is back looks like we're back all right thank you so let me just finish going through this list here uh for the for the record so you're not proposing any new entrances no to 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 the the, the building no everything going to be the same it's, it's yeah. already existing yeah. yeah okay parking um yeah i think we talked about that talked, yeah. last time there's there's plenty of area, yeah, of parking, yeah. a, a couple of parking spaces around there, right? Yeah. How many um, acres is the total land approximately? About 20 acres. About 20 acres. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, oh, three off-street parking spaces. I still don't think that's going to be a problem, sounds like. Um, the Board of Health. We've been through that, so I think that's that's all of them. So to Dave's point earlier, I just did want to make clear, again, I think you've already submitted to Toby that Declaration of Covenant, yep. which again, just to be clear, that means uh, that you're agreeing that you will live either in sort of the main house or in this new unit. Yep. Uh, that, that effectively, you can't sort of have two other groups of people live there. You, you've, okay. you've, got, you've got to be living there. Yeah, sure. 
um, while this, uh, this special permit is in effect. And also that this special permit um, will terminate uh, if and when you choose to sell the house. The special permit does not sort of continue uh, once the title of the house has been transferred to a, to a new owner. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just j just to be clear on that, um, are there any other questions from board members? Um, on no, this? just a comment. Just ahead, a comment. Dave. Go ahead. Dave. Okay, on that on that declaration declaration, what needs to happen is a separate form that he has to get signed by Toby. He needs to take that to the registry of deeds and have them stamp it and then bring it back to Toby. She'll make a copy and then he keeps a copy for his records. Yes, thank you for that, Dave. So that's right. So once the special permit, uh, if it's granted, yep. once you have that special permit, you will need to take both the special permit and the declaration of government covenant and bring those to the Worcester Registry of Deeds, have them recorded. Okay. And then you need to bring evidence of that recordal back to this board through, through Toby, sure. our secretary. Okay. That's another requirement. So Dave, thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, any other comments from, from board members? Nope, nothing. Okay, Thank is you. there a motion to close the public motion hearing? Motion to close the public hearing. Okay, is there a second? A second. Excellent. We have a motion, we have a second. Any further comments from board members before we vote? Hearing none. All right, so we will do a voice vote. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, is there a motion to approve the special no, permit. we need to close. We need to take the vote. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm losing myself. <laughs> Let, let's 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 take, take a the vote. voice vote to close the public close hearing. Public I'm sorry. sorry. Um, Dave, let's start with you. Your 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 vote to close the public hearing. It looks like he's done. He you may have lost your cell signal. Um, let's, John. What's your vote to to close the public hearing? Yes, to close. Okay. Um, Chris, yours? Uh, yes, to close. Okay. Uh, Raj, yours to close? Yes. Okay. Renzi, yes as well. Dave, what's your, mo what's your vote to close the public hearing? Yes. Okay. 5 0. The hearing is closed. Any comments from the board before we consider voting on the special no. request? No. Nope. Nothing from Dave, nothing from me. Um, sounds like nothing from John, looks like nothing from John, so okay. uh, I'll entertain then a motion. Motion to approve you, Liu, for a special permit for an accessory apartment in a single family home pursuant to zoning by law, section 3.4 at 335 Lancaster Street, West Boylston, Mass. Thank you. Is there a second? A second. Second. Okay, great. We've got two seconds. It's even better. Wonderful. Um, Let's give it to Dave. Yeah, if there's no comments, then we'll go ahead and vote. Dave, what's your vote to approve? Yes. To approve? It's a yes. Okay, thank you. John, your, mo your vote? Yes. Okay, uh, Chris, your vote? Uh, yes. Mine is yes. And mine is yes. It's 5-0. The special permit is granted. Thank you. So what we will do, we'll make a, a written decision uh, briefly describing uh, the, uh, the grounds um, uh, for this decision. That will be filed with the town clerk uh, within 14 days, so okay. two weeks from today, yep. that, that will be in there. Then after that, there's a 20-day appeal period where anyone can potentially appeal the decision that was just made here. Okay. Um, once that 20-day appeal period passes, then at that time, you can take the written decision that you can get from the town clerk and that Declaration of Covenant, which by then all the board members sh should have signed, so we're gonna to have to sign that over the next 20 days. And once that's signed, you take those two documents, you have those uh, recorded at the Worcester Registry of Deeds, and then you bring us back evidence sure. saying that they've been so recorded. Yep. Is, that, is that clear? Yes, that's clear. Excellent. Yeah. If you have any questions, you can either ask Toby uh, to the board. Yep, okay, cool. thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you, have a good night. Okay, um, next on the agenda, Hang on, I've lost my agenda here. Chris, just a comment? Yeah, go ahead, Dave. Okay, just so that you guys, that you, the board is aware of, there is a bill before the, uh, in the Commonwealth, it's called the Affordable Housing Bill, and it pertains to accessory dwelling units, which is accessory apartment. Right now, it is passed through the House 
and is on its way to the Senate. Once the Senate approves it, it'll go to the governor and the governor will sign it. When the governor signs it, accessory dwelling units or accessory apartments will then become a right. They won't have to come to the CBA for a special permit. They'll just have to go to the building inspector. Thank you for that update, Dave. I appreciate that. Um, so we, we do have one more issue. Uh, we do have reorganization of the board. It's June time, everyone. Reorganization of the board. So I, I don't know uh, what folks is are thinking. That, yeah, is there anyone want to step up to the chairman? Please, please <laughs> volunteer. Can I comment on that? Not me. Go ahead, Dave. I'm the newest Not guy. Me, Dave. Not me. <laughs> Can I comment? Yes, go ahead. Okay. We have two lift projects that are coming to town. They've already been a, they've already made an agreement with the Board of Selectmen. I'm suggesting that we leave the organization the way it is until the lift pro the both lift programs are complete and then we come back then come back to the to the reorganization. Why don't we uh, reorganize today? Is that anything? No, I'm just saying that that's just my opinion. I think that we should leave the board on the way it is until these two lift programs are done and then so, go back and reorganize Dave, the board. Dave, I have a suggestion, okay? So it is customary to reorganize after the election. So we will reorganize and, uh, you know, if you want to, uh, you know, my, my, my board, what I'm thinking is, you know, Chris to be the chair again. And if there is a something, if you are interested to become a chair after the 40B, then we can always ask Chris, hey, you can step down, Chris, it's enough. So Chris will be more than happy to step down at any day. Yes, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well then I'll tell you what, I'll make a motion for chair, Chris, the vice chair, John. If nominated, I will not run. If elected, I will not serve. I have no interest in having any of those positions. Yeah. <laughs> so let's say, uh... Dave, what are you going to say, Dave? It's your motion. Okay, if John, if John doesn't want it, then I'll make Raj the vice chair. Who? Raj, the vice chair. Is and Chris, the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy don't, to be a vice need, chair. Don't we need a clerk too? Yeah, you want to be the clerk today? No, I'm be. I'll stay on as clerk. Okay. But I don't want the so, chair. I okay. want Chris to be the chair. Okay. The, uh, why don't you include your motion to clerk cards? Oh, you cannot nominate yourself. Is that the rule? Okay, I nominate so Dave to be chair. I mean, excuse me, to be to be <laughs> clerk. Excuse me. I nominate Dave to be clerk. Okay. I accept. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we have a motion. Oh, you, you are the chair. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a motion. Is there a second? Second. And and just to be clear, the motion is. Dave's motion is you Dave, to be Dave's the chair. motion is me to the, the vice chair. Christopher Olson as chair. Arur Rajesh Kumar as vice chair, and uh, Dave Femia as clerk. No, uh, that's a John's motion. Dave as a. Well, oh. clerk is a John's motion. Oh, so we're separating these. We have to separate. Or, you know, we can say it. And, yeah, I'm uh, not having a good night here, gentlemen. Oh, we can combine the motion. It's okay. John motion is... Is yes. that because... Hey, Chris, is that yes. because Toby's not there? Yes. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not balanced. Let's take the first... Uh, let's take a vote on the first Dave's motion. Yes. Dave's motion is... Mr. Olson to Mr. be the Olson chair. For chair. Raj should be the Raj, Raj is the vice chair. chair. Let's okay. take a vote on that. So there's a vote. I'm sorry. There's and a motion. There is a second. I seconded for that and motion. There's a second. Okay. I, I Let's take the vote. Take note Let's of this. Make your life easy. Dave made the motion. Raj seconded. Yep. For chair and vice chair. I'm sorry. I'm taking notes in Toby's absence. Um, all right, so let's do a voice vote for those positions for chair and vice chair. Dave. Yes. Okay. John, your vote. Yes. Chris. Uh, yes. 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 
USCCS. <laughs> Can I abstain as to no, one of those two? It's not debatable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes. For for one more blessed year, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, Let's All right. take that. So the there second is a, motion there is, is a motion on the floor is for Dave uh, Femia to be as the clerk. By John Benson. By John Benson. Okay. Is there I a second? I second the motion too. Okay. Yeah. Dave cannot second the motion because he's there. Okay, so we have a motion. We have a second for Dave Femia as clerk. We will do a voice vote. Dave, your vote. Yes. John, your vote. Yes. Okay, Chris, your vote. Yes. Yes. And yes for me. So it's five to zero. We are officially reorganized for the next 12 months. Thank you everyone for that. Um, oh, so there, there is another thing. So just so everybody is aware, there are going to be some things that each of us need to sign over the next week, week and a half, one of which is going to be that Declaration of Covenant that I will have Toby leave um, in, in the, the ZBA mailbox. So please be aware of that. Secondly, there's a form here about uh, we, we, we sign. This is the year. form from the accountant. Yes. And uh, every year it is, uh, you know, the members of the zoning, zoning board who is the signing authority on the bills? So normally we will, uh, you know, normally in uh, other boards we say, you know, anyone, any one of the board member can sign a bill. Uh, once you get the bills from the town or the BHP or the Toby brings in the bill from the Telegram and Gazette, somebody has to sign it. So that the signing authority, there is a form from the Leslie, town accountant. So so I will make a motion. Any one of the Zoning Board of Appeals member can sign the, can be the signing authority on any of the bills for the year 2025. Thank you. I second it. All right, so we have a motion from Raj. We have a second from Dave. Uh, I'm sure there's no comment on that one. Let's do a voice vote. Unless if there is comment, I'll hear it. But it sounds like well, I guess a question. Yeah, is it, does that include uh, associate members or just the full full board members? Oh, I don't know that. I, in the past, it's it's, it's only the full member. In the it's past, it's full. been the full member. Yeah, it's yeah, only the thought. full yeah. member. Yeah. Yep. Um, so great question, though. Great question. It's only the full member. Yep. Yep. But that doesn't. But you can still vote on this. Oh yeah. Um, yep. So why don't we do the the vote? We have a motion. We have a second. Let's do a voice vote on. Exactly that, giving all five full members the authority to sign bills uh, for the, uh, the any one of the finance, any one of the any one of the five full full members. Yeah. Excellent. So, Dave, your vote. Yes. Okay, John, your vote. Yes. Chris. Yes. My vote is yes. Mine's yes as well. Five zero. Um, so, any five full members um, will be able to to do exactly that. And. Uh, to, to for you, uh, administrative thing. So I talked, we had the planning board one. Mm -hmm. I did bring it to the town accountant. She said, you know, we need to take a vote and then we need to submit the minutes to the accountant. So, so showing that, you know, we took it for the 2025. Okay. And also we took a vote on the board approved any one of the members signed. Okay. So those things need to be indicated. So no, so Toby will, will have to write yeah. those reports mm -hmm. and yeah. she may actually have to submit those reports with this report before our next meeting. Yeah. Um, so to be paid, to be paid any of the bills from yeah. July 1st, she needs it. Okay. Okay. So again, just so everybody's aware, there's going to be two documents in the ZBA mailbox that are going to need to be signed by everybody here over the next, let's say, the next week, because we especially need to have actually both of these documents signed uh, in the next week or so. Um, and they'll be there uh, for those of, for the two of you who are remote, I think we can, we can sign what we need to tonight. There's also going to be um, vote sheets, actually, for, the, for the, um, the votes on the petitions for tonight as well. So if you can stop by over the next week or so and, and sign those, that would be wonderful. John, you may need to get out of the house. If you need a ride or not, let me know. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So, and with that, I'll just mention that uh, the next regular meeting of the Zoning Board is July 18th, 2024. 
And if there's nothing Chris, else? Chris, I'm not sure I'm going to be uh, around for that meeting. Okay, good to know. Thank you for that. Me too. Me too. Okay. So far, uh, there is no, no, uh, it, no items are there in the things. No, there's, no applications so there, far. There is one bubbling under the surface. Oh, though. okay. So, <laughs> so we, we may need to have that meeting. Okay. I don't. I won't put you on the spot now. We it should can... be. I. I think I'll be around. Okay. I have something the following week. That's the twenty fifth, the eighteenth. I don't think I have anything going okay. on. Okay. Excellent. Whether here in person or I, or, or by Zoom, if Excellent. necessary. Yeah. Yep. Excellent. Wonderful. So if there's nothing else, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Dude. Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Excellent. We have a first from Dave, a second from Chris. Uh, let's do a voice vote to adjourn. Dave, your vote. Yeah. Okay, thank you. John, right. your, John, your vote? Yes. Chris? A yes. Rush? Yes. I'm a yes as well, 5-0. We are adjourned.